If you live in St. Mary's County, you might know that we've held some records for liquor stores and drinking for quite some time. But what you might not know is that we drink the good stuff. And there's a woman bringing people together to have fun and learn the art of mixology. Today, I'd like to introduce you to Brooke Brown from Top Shelf Mixology Consulting. So today I'm here with Brooke Brown from Top Shelf Mixology Consulting, and we're here at the Quality Street Kitchen. But we're about to do a really cool class on learning about how to make mixed drinks and cocktails and stuff like that. But if you could, Brooke, just tell me a little bit more about like how you got started in bartending and basically how you started this business. Absolutely. So I basically was raised in the hospitality industry and my dad and I used to teach mixology classes, which just to break that down for everybody, craft cocktail classes together at his old speakeasy. So when he sold that, I decided, you know what? People really enjoy this. It's a great way for people to come together. Even if you don't drink, people make mocktails. It's a good time. So I decided to take it on the road. And I do in-home private parties. I come here to Quality Street. I do No Time to Cook and quite a few other places. It just spiraled from there. Very cool. When I think about bartending, especially like mobile bartending, I'm assuming that you're probably hitting all the parties in the county, <laughs> you know? It's like, is that what it's like? Or My fun joke is this. I've done everything from funerals to first birthday parties, a baby shower, hours to of course weddings engagements the whole nine yards you need a bartender for just about anything especially those baby showers i yes. mean you know you're you're gearing up for a whirlwind in your life you, you better <laughs> you know kick it off right exactly exactly and you know really it's just to bring people together have a good time and i just love it because i'm always meeting new people so i'm a people person i love being in the mix and having a good time with them Cool. You're obviously meeting with a lot of different types of people and you're doing a lot of different types of things with your events and with your classes. With that being said, what's kind of the main mission apart from dollars and cents? Like what's yeah. the main thing that you're trying to accomplish in your work? So honestly, it's just, I feel like human connection. Even during COVID is a great example. I started doing virtual classes mm. because we can all come together, work on something as one. And it's like, you kind of create a finished product. Sure. My goal and my idea for this is let's bring community together in a fun atmosphere. And whether you drink or not, there's something for everyone in here. Yeah. Which is awesome. That's so great. I've done work parties and people are like, oh, I don't drink. No big deal. Guess what? We will come up with some crafty together and it's going to be a great time. The classes that you hold, when someone goes to those in particular, what can they expect? When you come to our experience, first off, you get a full bar equipment to yourself and you get to make three craft cocktails. And I'm very adamant about using fresh ingredients. I make majority of all my cocktails. I'm all about fresh ingredients. I'm all about hands-on. We're gonna be using fresh fruits. We're gonna be muddling. We're gonna be shaking, mixing, stirring, the whole nine yards. Each time you make three different cocktails, you get to bring the recipes home and you get to try something new that maybe you wouldn't try out at a bar, you know? Yeah. Uh, I don't know about you, but if I go to a bar, sometimes it's just easy to be like, oh, let's have an old fashioned or a vodka soda because it's just muscle memory, it's quick. Yeah. You're coming in here, I'm gonna get you out of that comfort zone and we're gonna try something new. Cool. So. For the folks that typically come here, are you seeing like a lot of couples? Are you seeing like retirees? Is it a younger crowd, middle-aged crowd? You know. What's the what's the vibe like? I'm very fortunate. I get a little bit of everybody. We've gotten a mix of everyone, sure. which is really cool. And I've been doing this for a few years now. And one thing I've noticed is I do have return customers, but I still have new people walking through the door. So for me, that's the goal. If I can still get continuous new customers, mm -hmm. that means we're still having a fun time. It's still a good experience. And it's still something people look forward to do as a group setting or as a couple, or some people bring their mother-in-law or family member. They teach these cocktail classes. I bring them to your house if you'd like. I go anywhere in the DMV area. I also do regular bartending, restaurant consulting, and alcohol certification. So I do just a little bit of everything. And people who come into my class are always wondering what I'm up to. I'm a published author. I've done a cocktail book with Southern Trail Distillery, which is local to Southern Maryland. Well, you gotta mention the title. What is that? Right? Uh, it's actually called Moonshine Mixology. You can get it at Southern Trail Distillery. Uh, I'm working on book number two, but right. that'll be later. I stay busy. There's always something new to look forward to, but I appreciate you coming out. I'm excited for you to jump in the experience. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it as well. Since we've got these here, appreciate you bringing us in. Yes, Cheers. it is time. <laughs> Let's fill this glass. Oh okay? yeah, 100%. <laughs>